the Lagos State Government has commenced a sensitization and awareness campaign program on the large discharge matters for property owners in the Lagos East Senatorial District. Permanent Secretary, Minister of Finance, Sewan Udogan, says the program is aimed at educating participants on the benefits of land use charge on internally generated revenue which brings development to the state. The garden is to have um, collaboration with the taxpayers and to encourage them to pay their taxes because um, land use shall fall within rates and taxes that um, the law empowers the government to collect. And they want to do it in such a way that it's a win-win situation, not um, using the instrument of force. And without all this revenue, all these taxes, government can not perform their civic responsibility. The participants who commend the initiative says it is an eye-opener. Eye-opener to see the reason for us to pay the land use charge. Formerly, we thought that land use charge has been taken and nothing has been done with it. Because today we are able to gather that land use charge is used for infrastructures. What has really stood out for me is the government's commitment to ensuring that land use charge is paid. I'm also happy that um, one of the things that we have gained from this is clarity as to those who are exempted from paying land use charges. For example, what stood out for me was that um, properties that are owned or occupied by pensioners are not liable to payment for land use charge. However, those persons who occupy such property have to ensure that they make an application to the commissioner and you know have have their lands waived. Although they have explained to the generality of the people for understanding that uh, land use charge can be uh, must be paid by residents and any pensioner or place of worship would not pay since it's a, a social community service for religious purpose. The awareness program on land use charge continues in other parts of the state. Mao Bejosu, LTV News.